Hello everyone. It's James again. Before I start today's topic. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going extremely extremely well. And I hope your journey to self-betterment is going fantastic as well. Today I want to talk more about the narcissist that turns or tries to turn others into a narcissist or at least so they can see them fall in their life to behaving like the narcissist. And what all this means. The reason why this kind of gave me more of a moment to think about this. Is I watched some video clips of a woman here on YouTube. Who I won't mention. Who takes great pleasure in teaching others on how to be manipulative and how to use a prospective spouse. In all things that screams narcissism and narcissistic abuse. Now I don't want to mention who this is. As I don't want to give this individual any more attention than she already has. As she disturbingly has several hundred thousand subscribers of people that are interested in listening to what she has to say. One thing she said struck me to my very core. There were many. But one thing really jumped out at me. She said that she picks damaged targets and prospective spouses. Those that came from backgrounds where she knew they were missing something from their home of origin. And what she would do is be just as chaotic. In this case. She states how she chose to behave purposely like this new target's toxic mother. But then she would pull back a bit and let this person know. That she is there to take care for this person. No one else will care about them like she does. Blah 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 blah. And in her words. This new spouse now becomes putty in her hands where she has control over them. She also states she would listen and gain trust of such a person. And certain things this person would only tell her. She would then compile the data gained. Yes. She talks about data gathering like we've talked about on this channel. And how narcissists are always scanning like a Terminator robot as I've talked about. And she uses this data and presses buttons to use abuse and manipulate this unsuspecting target in her life now why did all of this grab me and hearing this impact me so deeply is like you and many others when i first started to date my narcissist ex susie i was so happy i thought i finally found someone that cared and understood my situation i was so ashamed of the home i grew up in and i thought i found someone that didn't care about that and just cared about me for who i was and what and who I was inside. And as this woman happily and literally brags about in video after video. Is it's all a game. And to Susie and those I'm pretty sure you were involved with. It was just a game to them as well. And to know year after year was wasted on someone that just wanted to use us. And spit us out of the corner of their mouth. When we wanted love and a real relationship is really sad to say the least. But why do people like this person now openly brag and try to turn others to the dark side? Much like they do covertly by finding someone that they feel is decent and corrupting their mind with evil and narcissism. It's simple. Her people her people. But more so than that. They gain supply. You see. I've talked about how I would beg and plead with my narcissist mother to stop many of the toxic things she was doing in our home that were ruining mine and my golden child brother's life. Only to be met with the silent treatment. Or made to look like I was a terrible son giving my mother a hard way to go for no reason at all. All the way to making me think things would be better. Only to have the football so to speak Charlie Brown style ripped away from me. And to be mistreated all over again. Now let that sink in for just a moment. My mother watched me with tears in my eyes begging and pleading with her all at a young age. And there was no compassion. There was no being sorry. All there was. Was gaining supply from my pain. 
these people are sick and they are literally taken over and addicted to the maximum all for narcissistic supply. And they love to get it in all forms. No matter if they are pretending to be the victim. No matter if they are the aggressor. No matter if they are also manipulating others to be just like them so they go down this lonely road of chasing narcissistic supply never knowing how to love another human being. They feel capable and smart when they are able to trick someone into being just like them. As for instance, I talked about in my last video, how narcissists will go to singles venues when they aren't single. And they will shame you into thinking there is something wrong with you for not wanting them to go to such places without you. But what I also touched on is, this narcissist will also let's say work on a new friend let's say they meet at work and that they see they have a happy dating or marriage relationship with someone. Such as they talk about their spouse highly. They have pictures of them looking happy in their cube at work. And what this narcissist feels when they see this is. They have to destroy it. Because narcissists can't stand happy people. Naturally happy people. And the reason why. Is they are jealous because they will never ever know what it's like to be joyous and happy and in love. Honestly and naturally. Without manipulation. Without lying. And without doing wrong to someone else. So what this narcissist will do is. They will act like they are a friend of this new person they work with. They will go to lunch together. They will share on purpose secrets about their love life. No matter if it's all a lie or partially true. To get this person they are targeting to open up as well. And what they will do is little by little. Drop seeds of doubt. That maybe they can do better. Or this person their new so called friend is with. Is light years above the level of the person they are currently with. And slowly they will produce situations where this new person can get a taste of narcissistic supply. It's kind of like vampire training. And then they start taking this person to these night spots to see and watch them fall and ruin what was a great relationship. Thinking it was all meant to be. And this demise would have happened anyways. And it was all naturally their choice. As the narcissist in a sly manner grins with delight. Because they know they set up the entire thing. Months and months in advance. All in the name of narcissistic supply. Well this woman here on YouTube. She brags. Literally brags about misusing others. Covertly getting involved with people and looking for their weak spots and figuring out a way to get narcissistic supply in other words from such a situation. And she has hundreds of thousands of people listening to her and her advice. You see. Even for those that believe they are moralful. The way of the narcissist can be seductive. As this woman talks about how if someone uses you. The way to equal the playing field is to go out and use someone else. It's not to take a step back. Learn boundaries. Live a good life. And to realize that yes. This world is going mad and crazy at times. But if you want to meet someone decent. Don't tell all of your business so people can scan your data and use it against you. Trust is earned. Look even though Sam Vaknin gets on camera likely for narcissistic supply as he's a self-admitted narcissist. But he talks about narcissism in an open and frank way. So you might be able to avoid someone like him. He understands and sees the ills in our society and that what is happening to many people isn't a good thing. He doesn't celebrate it. And he doesn't wish it on others. But this woman in her YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure gets lots of daily hits of narcissistic supply by knowing there are hundreds of thousands of individuals listening and going along with what she is saying. Now imagine if I hear. Told you the best way to fix your situation was to run out and use someone. Someone that seemed to care about you. Someone that wanted to build something honest with you. That's utterly crazy. But that's the power of narcissistic supply. Narcissist will go to their last breath. Chasing narcissistic supply. Not real love from their family members and their friends. Because they are literally broken inside. Her people her people. Her people her people. But. But. 
there is a choice and some possible nature involved in my opinion. Many have pointed out how I came from such a terrible terrible background and yet I'm here trying the best I can to make sure no one else gets mistreated like I got mistreated. I don't want narcissistic supply. And here's the thing. You don't want narcissistic supply either. And it's very likely you grew up very similar to myself. I knew when I was a kid. Certain things were wrong. That's why I became a target in my home. Because the narcissist no matter if they are a parent. A friend. Or spouse. Or boss. It doesn't matter. They scan to see who can see what and who they really are. And who can be turned. And who can't be turned. And people like you. And people like me. Because we couldn't be turned. We were targeted to be the bad guy or bad girl. And our golden child siblings. They were turned. And with each manipulation. The narcissist gains more narcissistic supply. These individuals are addicts to narcissistic supply and they literally cannot stop. If you do choose to find this woman on YouTube, you will see and hear her talking in a matter-of-fact way. How she literally data collects and scans what people say. Also she can do this against them or do that against them. Well what are these actions producing? Narcissistic supply. So what she really should be saying is. She is always looking for her next hit of narcissistic supply like a junkie. And she is in tune with each and every word someone says. So she can possibly use that to her benefit to get the supply she is so addicted to. Again. There is no helping these people. I've talked about it before. You can't help them. They literally get joy from watching you fall. And when they can turn someone that was once happy and joyous. By telling others. Hey. If someone used you. Go out and use others. Because. Remember. When you just got used. You are in a vulnerable state. You are upset. Sad. Angry. And distressed. And if a narcissist can catch you at the right time. Even if it's for a short while. The narcissist can have you throwing away your life. The devil comes with a smile. The devil comes with what seems to be information that will get you on top of the world. Hey. Other people have used you. Now it's time to use others. And the reason the devil does this is he knows his time is short. And he enjoys watching others. Especially those that started out on the right track. He enjoys watching those people throw away their lives and become shells of themselves because they followed his words and his advice. I've talked about before. There are many on YouTube that have videos. Where they are crying and sobbing on camera. Talking about how they gave up the love of their life. Just for a mere fling. However. What I think is missing from these confessions. Is the narcissist friend that was in the background egging it on. The one that was dropping the seeds of doubt. Pumping up their ego. Making them think the person they were with was a loser because they didn't have this type of car. Or this type of job. Or this type of money. And that hanging out with this person that has this car or this money. Is what they deserve. Only to find out. This person doesn't care about them. And they end up on this cycle of being used and using others. Her people her people. All in the name of narcissistic supply. Again. Most narcissists will take their last breath. Never uttering a word of how sorry they were they caused so much pain to their family and other loved ones. And if they could have another quick burst of energy. They wouldn't use it to give a real genuine hug. They would use it to manipulate someone because that drug narcissistic supply is just too powerful for them to say no to. Look people. This is why not just my channel. But others like it are so important. And why I do what I do. And I talk about topics in a real world way. And I try to use my experience to help others. Because we have channels like this with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Teaching others how to become a narcissist. Also the person that is making this content can grin and smirk with satisfaction. 
they turned one more person to the dark side. My message is okay. You were used and manipulated. Here's what happened to you. Here's why it likely happened. And here's something positive you can do for yourself going forward. And that is the message of many other channels like mine. And this voice needs to grow. Because we live in a painful world. We truly do. And all it will take is for someone in the wrong stage of their life. To accidentally see this woman's videos before they see mine. And they might just make their life worse. They might make their life full of regret and hardship. Look. Such a person that is telling you to do such things. Doesn't care about you. They don't care about you at all. They get high on the fact that you have thrown your life away much like they did many years ago. Hey. Though my mother did what she did. I feel sorry for her. I really do. She will never know what normalcy is like and nor will my golden child brother. They will never know what it's like to not use someone. To hug someone with real and solid feelings of love. And this woman that makes such videos is in the same boat. All she knows is gaining pleasure from your downfall and for you following her terrible life advice. And when she gets you to fall and stumble. She will work on someone else. It will never end. And there is no getting through to people like this. I tried with my mother. I tried with Susie. It doesn't work. I'm sure you can vouch for that statement as you have similar experiences as myself. Narcissistic supply ladies and gentlemen. Narcissistic supply. This is why they do what they do. Even when they are trying to turn someone into becoming a narcissist just like themselves. It's truly sad. It is truly sad. Don't fall for it. Well that's all I have for now. Except to say. This is why you should support the channels that you like that speak truth. Because those that do evil and speak evil. They have big big platforms to influence others so they can gain that narcissistic supply for themselves. And by supporting the channels you like. You are giving others a chance they didn't know existed. You see. One of my subscribers mentioned a quote by the legendary Smokin Joe Frazier. Talking about blindness. And how everyone needs help at some point to be led across the street or in the direction they need to go in. I know I made a mess of it. But I think you get my point. And what Joe was talking about and the person that left the comment is so important here. The person that left this comment said. It was my videos that was what led them where they needed to go like a person that was blind. And that really moved me. And it made me think. There are many that are blind out there. They don't know much about narcissism though the information is starting to spread. But they are still blind. And who is it do they find first? Do they find me or someone else that speaks the truth about toxic people and narcissism? Or do they find channels that teaches them how to channel their pain into using others? No. It's my hope. In their state of blindness they get led the right direction. Where they can have a better and more fruitful life. Where they can in turn possibly help out someone else. Much like they were once helped. It's called love. It's called love. Well that's all I have for now. Please tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to also like share and subscribe to help this channel grow. And if you want to support even further you can do so by the way of Patreon. And to those that are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you from the bottom of my cartoon heart. With that said. I do hope your day was blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.